Ever since mankind began to explore space, we have striven to find out if we are alone in the vast universe. As we have become more knowledgeable about the planets in our own solar system, it has become apparent that there is no presence beyond it. We have long journeyed for answers to this fundamental question ever since our first contact with an object called Oumuamua. The James Webb Telescope has again captured images of Oumuamua and Micho Kaku has spoken out about it, announcing that Oumuamua has returned and something unusual is happening. Join us as we unveil the true events and explore what this could all mean for the future of Earth. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. In 2017, astronomers made an extraordinary and revolutionary discovery when they detected an object called Oumuamua. This particular finding shook the scientific world because of one crucial factor. Oumuamua was the first known interstellar object to pass through our solar system. Studying a celestial body from outside our solar system has been an unprecedented challenge. Up to the time Oumuamua was detected, astronomers had focused primarily on observing and studying objects within our own solar system. Even so, many unknowns remained to be resolved in this area. The arrival of Oumuamua opened up a new category of exploration that allowed researchers to obtain information from objects beyond our own immediate cosmic neighborhood, a concept we had previously barely considered. The discovery of Oumuamua is undoubtedly of unprecedented importance. But why do we say this? The exploration of Oumuamua has had a significant impact for several reasons, including the opportunity to investigate the diversity and composition of objects in other stellar systems as well as to understand the formation processes of celestial bodies throughout the universe. By studying its composition and structure, researchers have sought to decipher clues that reveal the conditions and processes that shaped Oumuamua during its journey through the interstellar space. This object has an elongated cigar-like shape composed of rocks and its aspect ratio distinguishes from any asteroid or comet observed in our solar system. Comets are bodies composed mostly of ice that form in the outer regions of the solar system, such as the Jupiter belt or the Oort cloud. They consist of a mixture of water ice, frozen gases, dusty and rocky material. In contrast to Oumuamua's unique elongated shape, comets often have different characteristics in shape and size. In general, comets tend to have a more rounded or irregular shape. As comets approach the sun and heat up, the ice in their nuclei vaporizes, releasing gas and dust particles. This process can generate a cloud of gas and dust around the nucleus, and sometimes also a tail that moves away from the sun due to solar wind and radiation pressure. Cometary nuclei, which are the central solid parts of comets, are usually smaller and denser than the coma and tail. However, the size of comets can vary considerably. A prominent example is Halley's Comet, known for its return to the inner solar system every 76 years. This comet has a nucleus with a diameter of approximately 15 kilometers. Some comets may have even larger nuclei, reaching tens of kilometers or more, although for the most part they have a similar shape. However, what distinguishes Oumuamua from these common comets is its reddish hue, which evokes objects present in the outer regions of our solar system. The reddish color suggested a unique composition of particular surface characteristics. Despite its close proximity to the Sun during this trajectory, Oumuamua showed no sign of coma, making it clear that it was not a conventional comet, but something else entirely. And that's not all. One of the most intriguing aspects of Oumuamua is precisely that it does not fit in the pattern of an ordinary comet. Oumuamua, originally from the constellation Lyra, entered our solar system, but its exact origin is unknown. Oumuamua's journey through space may have taken billions of years, traversing the galaxy before it encountered our solar system. 
According to a study published in the journal Nature Astronomy, Oumuamua is likely to have been part of a larger planetary body in another solar system. However, the intense gravitational forces exerted by its host star tore it apart, resulting in scattered fragments. Its journey through its interstellar space began when it was ejected from its home system. One of the intriguing aspects of Oumuamua's behavior during its passage through our solar system is its unexpected acceleration mentioned earlier in the video. The object experienced an increased velocity in which generated a slight change in its trajectory compared to previous predictions. Initially, Oumuamua entered our solar system from a position high above the plane where the planets orbit, and then approached to a distance of 2.25 astronomical units from the Sun, coming relatively close to our star. After its closest approach to the Sun, Amuamua continued its journey, exiting below the orbital plane of the planet. This interstellar object was moving at a remarkable speed of approximately 196,000 miles per hour as it traversed our solar system. This high speed indicates that Amuamua possessed a significant amount of kinetic energy during its passage. However, this may also be related to its own structure and composition. Studies have revealed that Aumuamua has a thick crust composed of carbon-rich materials. This outer layer has been hardened by the effect of cosmic radiation throughout its extensive journey through interstellar space. The possibility has been raised that Oumuamua is a piece of an advanced spacecraft or an alien device sent by extraterrestrial beings to explore other star systems. It is suggested that its transit through our solar system was part of a deliberate mission. What is intriguing is that Oumuamua did not have a tail or release gases like most comets or asteroids. Some theories speculate that extraterrestrials may have used a different type of propulsion that we do not yet fully understand. Oumuamua's reddish color and surface properties are also interesting. It has been posited that if Oumuamua were in fact an extraterrestrial spacecraft or artifact, its redshift coloration could have multiple explanations. One possibility is that aliens intentionally designed the object's surface to have a reddish hue. They could have used materials or coatings that interact with cosmic radiation and stellar energy in a way that gives it a distinctive color. In this speculative scenario, the purpose behind the reddish coloration could vary from serving as a form of camouflage to fulfilling other as yet unknown objectives. What do you think? Let us know in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next time around. Thank you so much for watching.